textile materials all, all around us. We look at how do we make them and how can we make them more sustainable for a better world. Hello, I am Mohammed Tawseef. I am an associate professor in sustainable textile manufacturing at the University of Leeds. We teach sustainable textile manufacturing and in terms of research, we look at sustainable materials and sustainable processes. So how can we introduce new materials, sustainable materials, and how can we use new approaches to make textiles in a more sustainable way? The textiles are all around us, from wet wipes all the way up to parachutes, which land missions onto the Mars. But understanding textiles itself, if I zoom in on my shirt, what you would see is a woven fabric, I zoom in further, you see a single yarn, and then single fibers. And a fiber is on average five times thinner than a human hair. So these fibers are the building block of textiles. And ultimately, chemistry is very much in focus because a fiber is made out of polymeric materials. So we use about over 100 million tons of textile materials every year. Out of these 100 million tons, most of them, more than 70% end up in landfill. More than 20% is downcycled. So a shirt cannot be made back into a shirt. The fiber might end up in a mattress somewhere. And only 1% is textile recycling, which is converted back into a textile. So there is a lot of stress on the planet. A lot of textiles come from a fossil fuel source. So that puts on a lot of pressure to keep on extracting more, to produce more fibers to meet the demands. So what we are trying to do is, how do we make textiles more circular? How can we take post-consumer waste, end-of-life textile materials and recycle them back into textiles? And how can we make more sustainable manufacturing processes which do not release microfibers, fragmented fibers, or other chemicals or substances of concern into the environment? Textile fibers can be classified in two main categories. So we have natural fibers coming from a natural source such as cotton, wool, in case of synthetic fibers, a very common fiber, polyester. So synthetics represent nearly two-thirds of all fibers. And polyester represents more than half of all the fibers which we use. And the source of these materials is fossil fuel. The manufactured fibers, both regenerated and synthetic fiber, chemistry plays a very important part because we need to take those polymers and we need to convert those polymers into fibers. So there are two key methods to form fiber. One is the melt spinning, so it very much works for thermoplastic polymers, for example, polyester or polypropylene. So what we do here is we take polymer pellets, we extrude them at a high temperature and push them through very, very tiny holes to get filaments and ultimately fibers out of the process. And in terms of solution spinning, so polymers which do not melt, we dissolve them in a solvent. Once we made the solution, again we push those, that solution through tiny holes. But this time, when that solution comes out of those holes, we use an anti-solvent or a hot air to evaporate the solvent and we form the fiber. So this is a process which is very much used to produce viscous fibers. Textiles are close to my heart because I grew up in Pakistan and textile industry is massive there. So it is important for us to change the way we are creating textiles. So me and my team, we are working together to address some of these challenges and finding solutions. At the same time, it is important for the next generation to acquire these skills and address some of these global challenges which we are facing today.